Hi guys. Um, I have a quick message. Um, I had a dream last night and I was in a, a all blue jumpsuit, like a sanitation, you can say. And I was in front of the building. It was like a project building. And, um, the next day, um, the next day I came down to go to the mailbox and then this guy was there. It was two guys, two, two, um, two black guys there. And then one went outside and then the other one was standing by the mailbox. And then, um, I felt funny about it. And then I, um, I kind of like hurried outside, you know, the guy was watching me, but it's not like he was doing anything. He was just watching me. So, um, I didn't end up checking the mailbox. I just like kind of ran outside in a way. And then, um, the guy like hurried after me and then um, the other guy that went out before me, he stopped. It's like he saw the guy like rushing behind me. We weren't running yet. It was just like he was hurrying up behind me like to catch me. And then the guy, um, the other guy, he turned around and then he like um, looked at me like he knew that something was wrong. And then he looked at the other guy, but he didn't continue walking like he was. He stopped and he just stood there just to make sure that nothing was happening because I didn't say anything, but he knew something was going on. So he just stood there for me. So I pretty much, uh, and when I just woke up after, um, the guy that was uh, kind of chasing me out looked like uh, Kodak Black in a way. Um, so me being in the blue jumpsuit and then me checking, in, I was standing in front of the projects, right? You know how projects is set up is like a silver door, like those bolty doors or whatever. So I was standing outside of there. And then um, the next morning I went to check the mailbox. So um, uh, my dream is indicating that I live there, right? Uh, the two guys live there as well, something, I guess, um, because it was early in the morning and I went to check the mailbox. And then, um, you know, I, I went out Kodak Black. I looked it up because I wanted to see, like, he looked like him or whatever. Like, what does he have to do in anything? So I just um, looked up that um, he, I guess, was born in Pompano Beach, Florida. You know, I live in Florida. But uh, this message is for uh, women that uh, regarding mailboxes, checking your mailbox doesn't matter if you live in a house or whatever. The thing is, my my mailbox is outside, so I have to go walk to my mailbox. So my mailbox is not in front of my house. The mailbox is um, all I have to walk to it. So um, I was in front of the projects, though, like how the project is set up in New York. So. It's a different location, but still has to do with the same thing. Um, it has to do with where you live. That's where you check your mail. That's where you live. Um, you have to be, as um, women, be alert with checking the mailbox. The thing is, I went to check the mail, but I didn't check the mail because I felt something was wrong. And if I had got close to my mailbox, I would have got closer to him. So I didn't check it and I left. That's happened to me before where I didn't check the mail um, because I felt uh, it was dangerous right there. So I didn't check the mailbox when I was actually um, over here. So it was, um, so I'm, this message is for if you need, but this specifically targeting the mailbox this is a little, little dream. So if you go to the mailbox, wherever you live and you feel something is wrong, don't check it. Just go because whomever is there is waiting. The guy wasn't checking the mailbox. He was waiting for me. It's like he was waiting there, but not specifically me. He was just waiting for a victim. So, um, yeah. So you guys just be aware on um, where you live and mailboxes for some reason uh, when you check your mail. Just be, have whatever you have, wh whatever you have out. If you have mace, if you have knife, you have a gun, whatever, just make sure you're ready at that mailbox. Um, this isn't to scare anybody. This is for people to be alert, not to think because you're home checking your mailbox, there's no one there lurking. Pay attention to your surroundings, pay attention to your gut, pay attention to your intuition, because that's Father God letting you know something is wrong. Therefore, you go the opposite way. Look for somebody or just go the opposite way. All right, guys, I love you and I'll be back soon. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.